Welcome to another PosterCentral.com video blog here. I'm Pete Howard and this is a 1965 Motown concert poster from the city of Chicago which is very cool um, but it's really an oddball weird situation which is why I chose to show you this on this one. Um, it's, as you can see of course it's the Temptations, Motown Legends, followed by Junior Walker and the All-Stars, followed by Martha and the Vandellas, sometimes known as Martha Reeves and the Vandellas later. Um, and then, of course, even some legends under there, songwriting legend O.V. Wright and the Spinners, who would go on to big fame on Atlantic Records in the 70s, but they weren't doing much here. Anyway, so you've got a nice, you've got a really nice Chicago concert poster of soul legends for eight days, and this darn concert poster has the wrong picture on it. I mean, look, I, I've been in music my whole life, and I bought the concert poster, and I saw a picture of it ahead of time, and I didn't realize that this is not The Temptations, nor is it Junior Walker, nor is it anyone else on the poster. I'll zoom in and show you a better, uh, better look here. Who are those guys? Hmm? Yeah, a little bit closer, boy, that's, that's full frame. What a mystery! It's just crazy. And what's funny is that I sent, this, um, I sent an image of this to a friend of mine who works at Motown and does their, their archives and has for a long time. He didn't know. It's not like they're another act on Motown that uh, just doesn't happen to be on the bill. They're, they're, I'm hoping somebody out there, I really hope, you know, a, a soul R&B expert, record collector maybe, England's full of, you know, those kind of people too, can, can just um, tell me who that, who that is. I would love to know. You notice the guy in dark glasses too. It's really funny, but four of the faces should be fully recognizable for anybody who... Um, you know, who has a record by them or, or knows the music really well. I don't know if they're a, a local Chicago act, but probably what happened was a, a photo was mispulled from a file because um, this is, uh, you know, this is not an unprecedented. They, I actually have um, an example on my website right now. I don't know if it'll still be there when you see this, but um, another, coincidentally, a Motown act. This is a 1961 concert poster for Smokey Robinson and the Miracles back before um, they added the Smokey Robinson. He was in the group, of course, but they were just the Miracles. So this is 1961. So guess what? That's not the Miracles in the picture. I don't know if you can see it. That's the Marcells. And, you know, music historians and aficionados and stuff will know the Marcells were not an unknown group. They had a number one record. In fact, here's a, here's a, a bit of it, just to pull up the recognition. Okay, so that's the Marcells. So they were they had a, that was number one earlier in this year. The Miracles had Shop Around, which was Motown's first million-selling record. And whoever was working the files and pulling the pictures for the concert poster pulled a picture of the Marcells, not knowing that Smoke, you know, the Miracles didn't have any Caucasian members. And this, the Marcells did, and the Miracles had a female in the group, and um, the Miracles, the Miracles had a female in the group, and the Marcells didn't. Okay, <laughs> it gets a little confusing, but that's just messed up. I mean, come on, uh, it's 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 just really funny to know how to think about how naive the pop music business was back then that things like this happened. I mean, can you imagine today? Um, you know, like a Lady Gaga concert poster that accidentally uses a picture of Katy Perry. I mean, it's insane. Heads would roll, corporations would close, and and what if the poster were like left up? You know, never changed, kept up all around town. It's just it just boggles the mind. And yet this was you know they they didn't make a replacement. I I don't think I don't know. <laughs> That'd be funny if somebody you know wrote me and said yeah I've got it with the right picture that's just I, I just it, it just wouldn't work but and what's funny is this was not one night a concert where it's thrown away the next day eight days it's just let your imagination go it's easy to picture you know like the temps just eating at a diner between shows or during the eight days saying oh there's that poster again outside with the blah blahs on it or the who is that on it I don't know so Anyway, that's sort of a sort of our fun little poster thing for the day lesson or what do you want to call it? But not only a cool um, soul poster from the mid '60s featuring Motown legends, but a darn head scratcher about you know who's pictured on the poster. And boy, I, I would just love it if somebody knew who this was. So if you do, let me know. And thanks for stopping by.